and welcome to day seven, a long last of my Swimming World seven day soup challenge. And if you've got this far, then a huge congratulations and well done. And maybe you have had a sneaky peek on the scales. If not, well, good luck for tomorrow when you weigh yourself. So today I've saved the best to last, my absolute favorite of all time soup. And it is a butternut squash and chili soup. So you're gonna need a large butternut squash diced. And if you notice, I've left the skins on because you can still cook them with the skins on. It still tastes the same and it's much quicker. One clove of garlic, 25 grams of grated ginger, a pinch of chili flakes, two chicken stock cubes, some fry light, 600 ml of water, one large onion chopped, and then for seasoning, salt, I can't find my normal pepper at the minute, so I'm using cayenne pepper. And we're going to add a sprinkle of nutmeg, a squeeze of lemon juice, and some coriander leaves. And a soup maker if using, but you can use a pan and a blender for this recipe. So before you do anything, pop your oven on, gas mark seven, and then grab your fry light and spray a roasting dish or pan. Then we're gonna grab the butternut squash and just chuck it in. Then grab your garlic clove and just pop it somewhere. So we're gonna grab the fry light again and spray away. You can saute this with a regular frying pan, but I prefer the roasting method. Then pop it in your oven for 35 minutes. Now grab your fry light again and spray your frying pan or deep paste pan if you're using a pan and blender. Then pop your onions in, I'm gonna now season it with salt and pepper and a little bit of nutmeg. Then pop it on a low to medium heat and we're gonna saute this until the onions are soft. So the onions are nice and soft, so we're now gonna put this and all the other ingredients into the soup maker and then we'll grab the butternut squash shortly and chuck that in too. So the onions are in, let's chuck in the ginger and the chili and then the stock cubes. I'm just grabbing a uh, pinch of coriander leaves for fun and chucking those in too. I love coriander. A squirt of lemon. So the butternut squash is all done and the garlic is soft. And we're gonna now chuck this into the soup maker or you can put it in your pan. And then I'm gonna pour the water in last. Now you need to take the skin off and squeeze out all of the sweet garlic into the pan or soup maker. Then grab your water and pour it in. Then pop your lid on, press mode, make sure it's on smooth, press select, and it'll be done in 21 minutes. So the soup's ready. Let's go and check it out. So there you go. It's a nice, thick, comforting soup. So let's get pouring. And I'm gonna sprinkle it with some coriander. And you could also put a dollop of fat-free natural yogurt there. So it's ready. I'm gonna get a bit of coriander too. Mmm! I think, I have to say, I've saved the best to last. Especially when you have a mouthful of coriander. And this has been the most requested soup on my Facebook group and other Facebook groups. And now the challenge is all over. I have enjoyed this so much and possibly more than you may have. I don't know. But hopefully I may see you again next year with this challenge. So you might want to get your recipe requests in early. And don't forget, if you want to see my soup recipes throughout the year, then come and join our Facebook support group, which is called I Love SW Soup. I'll leave the link in the down bar below and you can share your recipes too. And I'd absolutely love to hear all of your weight loss results. So please uh, feel free to uh, comment below and tell me yours. And also keep tagging me on Instagram and Twitter with your pictures of these recipes. It's so cool. Um, and I think my leek potato and bacon one seems to be the most favorite one so far. So if you really love this recipe too, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.